Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be making some white chocolate chip and blueberry muffins. Now the purpose behind this recipe is there's a little surf shop near our favorite surf place on the Sunshine Coast in Moffat and they make the best blueberry and white chocolate chip muffins and they're gigantic and they're delicious and they crumble in your mouth. So my partner has a work function tomorrow and we thought, why don't we try and recreate them? Now when looking at blueberry and white chocolate chip muffin recipes online, there were some big differences that I came across and there was two recipes in particular which I liked and wanted to try. One of the recipes used sour cream, which I have never used sour cream before in muffins, so I'm gonna give it a go. And the other recipe used natural yogurt. So my plan today is to make both recipes and show you guys which one is best. So the first recipe that I'm going to show you guys today is the Greek yogurt blueberry and white chocolate chip muffins. So I began by cracking three eggs into a bowl and then adding two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then I added one cup of Greek yogurt. So here I used natural pot set yogurt. And once all my wet ingredients were in the bowl, I grabbed a fork and gave it a little whisk. The reason behind whisking the eggs especially, it makes the muffins really fluffy and brings air into the mixture. To keep the air in the wet mixture, I then gently fold the flour into the wet mixture. So making sure all those air bubbles that we've created before stay and we get those nice fluffy muffins. I also recommend in this step to sift the flour. This also makes the muffins that nice consistency and stops any lumps when baking. Then I grab one block of white eating chocolate, roughly chopped, and add it to the mixture. I've chosen to go with Milky Way chocolate in this recipe. Finally, I grab one cup of frozen blueberries and add it to the mixture. Now the blueberries will stain the muffins, so when you're mixing the blueberries in, just be very gentle, otherwise your muffins will turn out all purple. Once I'm happy with the mixture, I then place parchment paper into my baking dish and add the mixture in. Generally, you could just use normal cupcake um, papers. However, this time I've chosen to go with baking paper. It gives a more rustic look as well as a better presentation. If you'd like to try this as well, what I have done is just cut the parchment paper into little squares. Then I just mold them to the cupcake tray and add the batter. Once I have spooned all the batter into the cupcake trays, I then begin on my second recipe. So the second recipe ingredients are quite different from the first. This recipe uses butter, it uses milk, and it also uses more flour and sugar. So I'm really interested to see how this affects the muffins in the final product. The steps in this recipe are quite similar to the first. I begin by adding three eggs into a bowl. Then I take 175 grams of unsalted butter and I pop it in the microwave to melt and then stand to cool before adding it to my mixture. I then add one and a half cups of caster sugar and mix well together. Don't worry guys if you're missing all the ingredients, I've linked all the recipes down below. I'm also whisking the eggs again like I did in the first recipe to create those air pockets in my mixture and create nice fluffy muffins. Then I add half a cup of milk and my sour cream. And then I sift my flour into the bowl and then fold in lightly to keep those air pockets in the muffins. I know I've been stressing this throughout the video, however, it makes such a difference. I've done an experiment before to see if it really does change the muffins and it does. So this is a really important step. I then spoon that mixture into my tray and add both recipes into the oven. Now I don't really listen to recipes when it comes to how much time you should cook them for and I really should but I always just check on them about half an hour and go by smell in the house. So while the muffins are in the oven I just wanted to talk about what I think which recipe I already think might win. I think the sour cream might win. It was interesting because when I tasted the sour cream batter it was the sweetest as well as the fluffiest batter. Batter, <laughs> it was the sweetest batter as well as the fluffiest batter, so 
Yeah, we'll just have to see how they come out as well. I'm very interested. Okay, the muffins are out of the oven now and there's a little bit of a difference between the sour cream and the yogurt ones. The sour cream ones are a lot denser whereas the yogurt ones are a lot fluffier. And when I was cooking, the yogurt ones cooked faster than the sour cream ones. But that was just the differences that I noticed. Let's have a taste test and see which ones are better. So here, this one is the yogurt one. You can see it's a little bit fluffier. There's a couple more air pockets in there. So let's have a try. Mm. So super light and fluffy, super sweet. It's actually very, very sweet for a breakfast muffin, but it's still really nice. Um, the white chocolate has really gone through the whole cake, so it's kind of flavored the whole cake which is really nice and the blueberries are just divine mm. let's try the sour cream recipe now when I was trying the batter of the sour cream recipe I thought that I would like this one better because it was actually sweeter but now having tasted the yogurt one if it's sweeter than the yogurt one then I definitely think I will like the yogurt one better and now this is the sour cream one can see it's a lot denser and it's also a lot moister and when I was cooking it I had to put it back in the oven and cook it for a little bit longer but I have noticed with this one is you've got that really nice crispy outside which is what the cupcake is like at the little coffee shop that we go to let's have a try mm. it's actually less sweeter than the yogurt one which is funny but it's more it's more dense and the crust and the crunch on the side is really nice and it's also a lot moister than the other one mm. yeah and it also tastes like a little bit more savory whereas that one is very sweet which is interesting because this one has more sugar in it than that one. So it's a good experiment to see how different recipes and different ingredients that you add into muffins differ and what you would do next time if you were creating your own recipe. So after tasting both muffins and experimenting which is best, sour cream or Greek yogurt, I wanted to dive into the science of baking a little bit more and explain why these two ingredients differ and change the muffins so much. So the purpose of adding Greek yogurt to a muffin is to increase the moisture and as well make the muffin more fluffier. So in our review that I saw that this definitely happened with the muffins. And then whereas with the sour cream, the purpose of the sour cream is to increase the texture and the density of the muffin as well as equal out the sweetness of the muffin. So that's why the sour cream worked so well in this recipe because the white chocolate and blueberries are already very sweet. Mm. Alright guys, so that's the test done whether or not to put sour cream or Greek yogurt in your blueberry and white chocolate chip muffins. My choice would be to go with sour cream. Thanks for tuning in. See you next video.